Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about if LinkedIn ads are worth it. So this is very similar to the is Taboola or Outbrain worth it. Here's the thing, Neil mentioned, if you can actually make it work for you all day, if it's it's an arbitrage opportunity for you, you're going to put that money in all day. So the key thing is to make sure that you test it. Everything that you're really hearing from us right now is based on personal experience. But what I can say when it comes to LinkedIn advertising, it is definitely more expensive. For me, for example, in some cases, if we're trying to hit universities, right, it's very specific people. Facebook actually can do a good job with it, but LinkedIn might make more sense, especially if we're trying to hit kind of the, you know, the CEOs and chancellors and things like that. And so, you know, what we decided to do with LinkedIn, we decided to push our educational related content. So we have a resource for e-learning companies. And then we also have a resource for, you know, where we studied over 1 million backlinks for Udemy. Now, these resources are, you know, interesting to educational companies or e-learning companies, right? So we decided to give it a test. And what we're seeing so far is that um, we're actually, you know, the traffic that's coming in from LinkedIn, they actually stay a significant amount of time and they're converting. The clicks are a lot more expensive. We're talking like $8 per click. But, you know, if it converts at, you know, 50% or so, you know, we're, we're paying $16 for an email. And that's right under what we're willing to pay for an email. Realistically, for an email, for an educational related email, we're probably willing to pay a little more. So that's not a bad CPA at the end of the day. So don't just look at the CPC. You got to look at, you know, your conversion rate and your cost per acquisition. And for us, I can say LinkedIn is actually working because we can see that the engagement rate for the click-through rate actually looks really good. So what you're looking for typically when you're running like a newsfeed kind of ad in LinkedIn, you're looking for a click-through rate that, you know, if you can hit like 0.30%, I know that seems really low, you're in a good spot. So I'm looking at the two ads that we have right now. One's at 0.543% and the other one's at 0.918%. So it's not bad, but 0.918% obviously is, you know, that's that's a very good position. So Neil, what are your thoughts? Other thing to consider too is when you're running LinkedIn ads, keep in mind the cost is way higher due to the fact that LinkedIn is being heavily used by recruiters. And recruiters right now are just going through like these big tech companies like the Ubers and the Googles are spending so much on recruiting. They will pay an arm and a leg for advertising on these social sites. So your costs are going to skyrocket. But that's okay, right? It's like something's better than nothing when it comes to LinkedIn because it's a different traffic source. So what I found is if you do LinkedIn advertising combined with posting on your LinkedIn uh, page on a regular basis – and engaging right when you post because you'll get comments, etc. The channel is much more effective versus if you're just doing advertising by itself. Great. And the other thing is you want to make sure that when you're putting a sponsored ad, so I'm not talking about the right side ad, not the right hand ads. I'm talking about the ones that actually appear in your LinkedIn newsfeed. You want to make sure that you have the image that actually takes up you know most of the real estate. So you actually you, you can put the image in there. Um, you know, I think it's a 1200 by 628, very similar to the Facebook size. Maybe it might be a little bigger than that. Um, but if you just put the link itself, it's going to post like a really small image. You want to have as much real estate as possible. Think of a giant billboard that stands out. Um, that's going to generate a higher click through rate. So a lot of people miss out on that. You don't want to miss out on that. I, I do recommend putting some dollars into it if it makes sense. If your audience is actually hanging out there, don't look at the CPC. It can be really daunting. Chances are if it's really relevant, your targeting is good. Your CPA is going to be much better. Neil, any final thoughts? The big thing that I've learned with LinkedIn when you're collecting a lead, LinkedIn has a feature where you can do authentication. So someone can give you their email address without actually having to type it in. And if they're coming from LinkedIn, that means they're already logged in. So if you're sending them to a landing page where you're collecting the email, use the authentication. Your uh, conversions from what we've tested are way better and it brings down your CPA drastically, like usually by over 30%. And don't forget to track your conversions too. LinkedIn actually has the ability where you can track your conversions finally. So um, do track your conversions. It's not like the old LinkedIn. It's, it's getting better. And I'm hoping that Microsoft will take them to the next level. Fingers crossed. So that's it for today's episode of Marketing School. We'll see you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. 
And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.